Today I'm going to be teaching you the Murnax Ladder. It's an advanced trick. I've been wanting to teach this for a long time now since I've taught the Infinity Ladder, the Half Murnax, all that. Uh, things you should definitely learn before learning this. Um, I'm going to be using the Wave because I have jimpings that I built in on the side of this knife for this trick and other ladders like it. Um, it's best to use a knife with jimping for this. Okay, so this is an advanced trick, and the hard part about this trick is honestly the amount of strength you need to have in your pinky and your ring finger. So this this transition in the trick, definitely the reason it's advanced. It, it definitely flies off my fingers quite a lot when I'm doing it, and you have to build up the strength, but eventually you'll get it if you just practice. Before learning this, I would suggest you go learn the half murnax. It helps you get into this motion of throwing the knife towards you. It's definitely a, a motion that you're not used to, or learning the infinity ladder, either one. I think they're easier than this one, but uh, everyone has preferences. So we're gonna go through this really quickly, and then I'm gonna show you a slower version. So you're gonna do a double rollout into the first rotation, second rotation, third rotation, back, forward, and up. So that is the, an overview of the trick. I'm going to start off the trick by doing a double rollout. I think that's the easiest way to get into it. Then I'm going to have my hands in this position because my next thing is I'm going to throw the knife forward and get my pinky ready. So that's going to be the first rotation. There are three rotations in this trick, okay? three rotations because you've probably watched the slow-mo trying to count them. There's about three, okay? So you're going to do a double rollout into this, have your thumb on the right, your middle finger on the left, and your index finger is going to be pushing the knife towards you. So you're going to be pushing the knife into the right here towards you, right? You're going to be in this position and you're going to replace your thumb with your pinky and replace your middle finger with your ring finger. So now you're in this position. So I'll show you that one more time. So I'm going to do a double roll out. I want to grip a little more uh, a li like about here on the knife because I'm trying to have this part of the handle go under my hand. It can't be too big if I'm going to have it go under, right? But when you get to this part, this is definitely something that was challenging for me. You don't want to grip it up here. And the reason I say that is because if you grip it up here, your, the next step, it, there's going to be no room for your fingers to be in the next step. And it's more likely that this is going to go flying off your fingers. So, I would grip it right in the middle, about, actually. And so, right when you're at this step, you're going to be throwing the knife around and replacing your pinky with your middle finger. And your ring finger is still in the same spot. So, I would go and practice this step. This step right here. Just go keep practicing this step because it definitely is the most challenging and you're going to need some practice before you move on. Okay, you start here, you do rotation one, rotation two. Okay, so now you're in this position with your, your um, middle finger here, your index finger here. And now I'm going to replace my, my ring finger with my index finger and this is going to give it more stability and then I'm going to throw the knife like this, and in mid-throw I'm going to replace my middle finger with my thumb. Okay, so that thumb just took over, and now you have a lot more grip. So that was the third rotation, right? And you're, you're, you're going to have a, like a half-fourth rotation. So now you're just going to be throwing this handle over your hand, like this. So you're gripping the knife. And you still have your index finger in the middle of it. You're just going to throw it back and move your fingers out of the way and throw it again so it lands. Okay, so it's going to be a double rollout into the first rotation, into the second rotation, replace your ring finger with your index into the third rotation, catch it with your thumb, and now you're in this one. And so you're going to get, you're going to get your, I guess you're going to, throw the knife back, replace your thumb with all three of your fingers, throw the knife back, have your thumb catch it right here with your index finger, and then go forward, move your fingers out of the way, and catch it. So that's the easiest way to end this trick. 
Thank you to all my Patreons. I definitely try to help you whenever you have a problem, and I love giving private tutorials to people. That's Tier 3 and Tier 4. Um, I've seen a lot of people really benefit from them. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below any questions you have, and I'll make sure to answer them. Or DM me on Instagram. My Instagram's right here, and I'll make sure to get back to you within two to three weeks.